Hello everyone, I'm Iris Angelica Tira Pocon. I am a junior in high school from the Philippines and I'll be talking about the greenhouse facility. So first let us let us know what is the aim of the greenhouse first. So from another analog mission from before, and you can see your video here in the YouTube link. Um, Elavarasan stated that the aim of the greenhouse is to establish a self-sustaining, life-supporting greenhouse habitat for food and oxygen production. So now that we have that, here is the um, prototype of the habitat market base in Mars that was proposed by Yasha Thod on mission 47. So here you can see this is the greenhouse. It is attached to the health facility, main station, sanitation center, and the engineering facility. So now that we got that, let us proceed with the internal design of the greenhouse. So the standard size of, of the base is eight meters of diameter and two floors. So the facility shall contain dormitories with beds, small kitchen and dining room for eating or for cooking, toilet, a small vertical garden, and 3D printing to build stuff. And this actually, this structure is actually also proposed by Yasha Thod on Mission 47. So here I just got a rough sketch of the three floors. Here we have the ground floor where in the dorm, toilet, kitchen, and recreational rooms will be found. Then in the first floor, we have the monitoring and research um, rooms. Then the second floor or the very top floor is the, for the cultivation and harvesting. And here you can find the plants or the harvesting. And this is the inside of the ground floor. Here we have one, another two dorms, the separated for men and women. And we have the recreational room wherein you can put your equipment, such as gym equipment, or probably for entertainment, um, TVs, or other more stuff. Um, here we have the kitchen and dining and the toilet. And as you can see here, as I said a while ago, um, the greenhouse is attached to health facility, the main center, sanitation center, and engineering facility. So. Yeah, that, that these four are the entrance. And we have this part as the storage in the stairs. And next is the first floor. We have the monitoring, the lab and work area for research and more equipment such as the 3D printers. And the top floor is where the plants are located and also the processing area. Okay, so let's proceed with the protocols and apply the penalties. I actually um, divided the protocols to work, non-work, and safety. So here I have a table. Um, first, um, we have the category for work, and it is this is scheduled, and we have the activity for plan operation, operations. And here are the sub-activities. We have monitoring, cultivation operation, harvesting, and these are the operation plans. This this table was actually from a, another reference paper entitled Two Time in a Space Greenhouse Using Data from Annual Missions and Vision. But I actually added some more to it and edited some that I think can, could improve. And yeah. Uh, another category is also again work and it is scheduled. We have the upkeep operations, we have the um, routine operations, maintenance, and here are the operation types. Next is another work, work category for the protocols. Again, scheduled utilization for um, data collection, system data collection. Um, we have also this public relation, which I think is very interesting. Um, we have the media interviews, public outreaches for like schools and for education to reach out to those on earth. Um, you have the conferences and tag ups with individuals. And you have also the safety protocols such as isolation, disinfection, and organization and recordings of resources and technologies found in the 
greenhouse facility. Okay, now we have the work technologies. Um, this applies to the work protocols. Um, given is the plant health monitoring systems, which includes the water quality, plant statistics, detection of disease, overall crop status, and we have technologies for cultivation and harvesting plant systems. So the automated robot, um, you know, as you know, it's the um, robotic arm that that is really um, really helpful in agriculture also. And we have the water atmosphere temperature and lighting regulations. This is included in the sensors, vertical farming, renewable energy, AI, and machine learning, and also biotechnology for algae productions. Here, is, this is the one that I mentioned a while ago, the autom automatic machines for the robotic arm. The robotic arm itself can maybe plant or water or do, do other repetitive work in the plant area or in the greenhouse. And you also have vertical farming and also be applied in the plants, the system plants itself. And we also have the biotechnology such as the algae cultivation technology. And here is another reference paper that they produce, try to produce a biotechnology that can produce algae. And another work, technologies are the tools and materials. This can also be developed by 3D printer in the Mars space or could be in situ from the earth, such as also the resources for growing plants, such as seeds, microorganisms, and nutrients that will be, back, will be packed from earth and be sent in Mars. So here is another protocol, which is the non-work protocol. Um, we have activity, personal activities such as leisure and recreational, um, we have relaxing in the greenhouse and the experience with plants, taking photos, and the recordings of the routines that we do every day, and other more recreational activities that can be done in the facility. Um, here are some pictures of non-work protocols, wherein, as you see here, it is like um, time to unwind, um, time to relax um, by music or maybe um doing workout okay so let's now proceed with the management of the greenhouse facility so there are two um in charge three people in charge here one very top is the facility chief um next is the researcher and the technician so here are the profiles of the um persons in charge you have the facility chief she, she or he can be an engineer, uh, agron agronomist, or botanist, and they shall monitor, plan, and manage the overall operation and protocols of the greenhouse facility. And they should be able to do project management and communicate well with the other team members. So next, we have the researcher, wherein they will report to the facility chief, and they are in charge of the health monitoring and maintenance harvest processing and algae cultiv cultivation and overall research. And they are also in charge of the disease control that may um, spread in the in plants or in the greenhouse facility. Um, we have the technician that's also that also reports to the facility team. They maintain the technologies that are being used in the um, greenhouse facility. They do routine checks of course and provides assistance to the researchers when needed. Okay, here is the training program and some topics can that can be taught are the research methodology, which is basic, um, the sustainability in general, agriculture, astrobiology, and do simulations such as um, using the R's, virtual reality, um, pro problem solving and critical thinking skills, um, new skills that were identified in Mars, some practical skills, of course, such as cooking or other more. Um, and first aid. And here are the guidelines of the program. Um, there should be daily, daily personal, physical, and mental health checkup every day. Um, and the people or the crew members 
shall attend or should attend the training according to, to the given schedule. Here, here are some of the videos that I would like to um, show to the team members, such as um, this is how miscommunication happens. And here is a playlist of music that can help them relax and other more that can really help in developing their skills. So the resources needed simply is per person for days, um, three liters of water and three kilograms of food. And we have the meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And there can also be some additional snacks. Now we have the spin-offs for the greenhouse facility. And here are the technologies and guidelines that can be applied on Earth. So research and technologies for sustainability, such as um, improvement in water quality, water management, recycling, energy consumption, and sustainability in general. Um, experiences and technologies also in agriculture that can be applied in um, local agriculture here in other countries too. Um, and especially growing plants in extreme climates and conditions. Um, this emphasizes also the um, climate change that is happening right now. The experience and technologies in food preservation to physical and mental well-being and some 3D printing techniques and applications that can that other people can apply. So the impacts of we do not put it into the sustainable development goals. So it may not be direct, but it it really contributes to reaching this goal, such as training and education, which um can be into equality education, such as the I mentioned a while ago, doing the outreach and speaking to other people. Um, it could re be really helpful for those um um those who don't have that quality education in their country or in their place um also gender equality the and again the art the outreach or reaching out to other people really helps because um such as doing videos of women empowerment or um women in state working in space and such and they talk about their challenges and their goals and such and that could achieve gender equality hopefully and partnerships and collaborations, of course. Um, it can be collaborations from different countries. Um, different countries can send out their own tools and, and also some big companies right now, such as the Blue Origin or SpaceX. It could be a partnership and collaboration. Um, next is the sustainability of resources, which um, really applies to water, energy, and also climate action. And yes, contribution to climate action, of course, because um, the develop the researches that will be developed while um, the crew is in Mars can really be applied on Earth and could really um, impact a uh, change in the climate issues that we are um, experiencing here on Earth. So here are my resources. If you want um, information, you can go through this. Um, research papers and here are my contacts and socials uh thank you for listening and have a nice day